caught me completely by surprise to be selected as the Standard Bank Young Artist uh, Award winner for music. I felt so so honored and so so fortunate and so touched actually that um, I get this recognition from my country because I'm I, I try to come back to South Africa as often as possible to perform. <laughs> Israel, though, and uh, but I came to South Africa um, as as a one-year-old. My mother is South African, so we went to live in George. And uh, my two elder brothers and I, we we enjoyed playing music. We played all sorts of different instruments. And um, at the age of twelve, I I was fortunate to become the student of Professor Jack Devet in Cape Town. And so the the foundation of my violin education was in South Africa. Then after that, I went to live in New York for five years, where I studied at the Juilliard School of Music. And um, after that, I lived for one year in Tel Aviv to just discover my country of birth. And now, now I'm based in Berlin for the past two and a half years I've been there. When, when I came to my violin teacher at the age of 12 and he asked me some questions about basic violin repertoire and he found out I didn't know standard pieces like Mendelssohn Violin Concerto or Bach's works for solo violin, then he suggested, well, you can buy the entire collection, CD collection of Yasha Heifetz. So we bought all 48 CDs <laughs> so that I can become acquainted with the violin repertoire. So, of course, Yasha Heifetz was my favorite violinist as a child. I remember my grandmother coming to our house one day and I was practicing and she said, does, does the child ever, does she work or does she just play all day? And I've thought about that since then because what is actually work and what is play if you're a musician because some people do that as a hobby and it's their dream to do something like that. The most important thing I would think is that you're passionate about what you do. And if you're not, then maybe um, find things to inspire you. And if it doesn't, then maybe try another instrument. <laughs> In the end, it's, it's a feeling that you need to convey and a message that you need to communicate. And the notes serve that purpose. So I try to, to always keep that in mind because Art is not necessarily about perfection, because perfection can be there without the art. Mm -hmm.